An AED is used to correct or restart a person's heart rhythm. AEDs can be used for adults and children. Like all AEDs, Zoll's AED Plus has a start button, voice prompts, a shock button, and electrode pads. It also has a screen display that simultaneously shows all voice prompts as text, along with pictorial icons depicting the various things you should do as you proceed through a rescue. And it has a one-piece electrode pad for analyzing the heart and delivering a shock, and a CPR landmark that allows the AED Plus to see your chest compressions and encourage you to perform CPR at the correct rate and depth. A rescue accessory package is attached to the electrode pads, which contains a barrier mask for giving rescue breaths, a small pair of scissors for cutting clothing if necessary, a moist towelette for cleaning up, a razor for shaving any chest hair, a paper towel for drying the victim's skin, and a pair of non-latex gloves to protect your hands. In a real rescue, of course, you would use all these items if needed. For training purposes, we won't use them in this exercise. Using the AED Plus as a single rescuer. Watch, don't practice the following demonstration. Position the person away from contact with water and metal. If the victim's upper body is not injured, use the lid as a support to help keep the airway open. Position it between the shoulder blades. Place the AED Plus by the person's shoulder. Turn it on and Unit follow the okay. prompts. Adult pad. Stay calm. Check response. Are you okay? Call for help. Hi, this is Julie Sanders. I'm at 445 North Park Avenue and my friend is unresponsive. Please send help. Attach defib pads to patient's bare chest. Attach defib pads to patient's bare chest. Dry the chest if necessary and quickly shave it if there is heavy chest hair. Attach defib pads to patient's bare chest. Attach defib pads to patient's bare chest. Patient, Don't touch the person while the AED Don't is analyzing the heart. If a shock, shock is needed, button. be sure that Everything no one clear? is touching the person. Shock delivered. Start After CPR. the shock, immediately start CPR. Do your compressions by pushing down on the CPR landmark. If your compressions aren't at least two inches deep, the AED Plus will let you know. The Push AED harder. will let you know every 15 seconds if you don't reach the target CPR depth. After being told to push harder, if your compressions reach at least two inches, again, the AED Plus will let you know. The Good AED Plus will also give you a real-time display of each chest compression on the bar gauge. The upper line represents two inches, while push the lower harder. line represents two and a half inches. Each compression should be deep enough to at least Good touch the upper line. After giving 30 compressions, you should give two rescue breaths. One, Repeat two, this cycle of 30 three, compressions, four, followed by two five, rescue breaths, six, until the AED seven, Plus tells you to eight, stop CPR. Nine, ten, Rescuers who lack seven, the training or confidence 12, to perform rescue breathing 15, 15, should perform 15, continuous 15, compressions 15, without stopping. 19, 20, 21, 22, Compress the chest hard and fast 30 times. 26, Give two breaths. 28, 29, 30. After two minutes, you will have completed about five full cycles of 30 compressions and two breaths. Continue to follow the AED prompts. If you don't start CPR right after being told to do so, you will be prompted every 10 seconds until you do start. start and if you CPR. stop for longer than 10 seconds, the AED Plus will tell you to continue CPR every 10 seconds until you resume CPR. Using the AED Plus as a team. Let's look at a situation where an AED is used in a team rescue with more than a single rescuer using the AED Plus. At work, you see a person fall to the floor. You check to make certain the person okay? is truly Are unresponsive. Okay? Immediately send we'll a coworker to call 911 or the local emergency number and get the AED. If the person is unresponsive and not One, breathing normally, two, expose the chest. Three, Place your hands between four, the nipples in the middle five, of the chest. Six, Begin chest compressions. Seven. Continue compressions and rescue breathing until the AED arrives. When it does, 
Make sure the person isn't touching water or metal. Place the AED Plus by the person's shoulder and turn it on. Unit OK. Adult then. Stay calm. Check responsiveness. Call for help. Proceed immediately to attach the electrode pads to the victim's bare chest. Attach defib pads to patient's bare chest. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seven. Attach defib pads eight, to patient's bare chest. As soon as they are applied, the AED Plus will begin analyzing the heart rhythm. It will not prompt you to do what has already been done prior to attaching the pads. Don't touch patient. Analyze. Don't touch the person while the AED is analyzing the heart. Shock advised. If Don't a shock is needed, be sure that no one is touching the person. Button. Everyone clear? After shock the shock, delivered. immediately put your shock hands on the CPR landmark and begin CPR for two minutes of pumping the chest 30 times and giving two breaths. If your compressions fall short of two inches, the AED will see this and let you know every 15 seconds until you reach the target depth. When your compressions become deeper than two inches, the AED will again let you know. Push harder. Good compression. Do five full cycles of compressing the chest 30 times and breathing two times. Continue to follow the AED prompts. If the AED tells you it is analyzing, do not touch the person. If the AED tells you a shock is needed, be sure no one is touching the person before you press the shock button. Continue to follow the prompts and provide CPR until help arrives or the person wakes up. One last note. Always use adult AED pads for adults. For children less than 8 years old or weighing less than 55 pounds, use pediatric pads. If they are not available, use the adult pads. Never use pediatric pads on an adult. Now, practice using the AEDs in your classroom with your instructor. Finally, when help in the form of emergency medical services arrive, the first responders will probably want to know two things prior to taking over the rescue. How long has it been since the victim collapsed? And how many shocks, if any, have been delivered to the victim? The AED Plus can help you answer both of these questions. The display screen maintains a count of how many shocks have been delivered since the AED Plus was turned on, and how much time has passed in minutes and seconds since the AED Plus was turned on. Communicate this information immediately to the first responders and show them this data on the display screen.